Leo Messi is leaving Paris. Or at least that's what it looks like. In the city of love, the World Cup champion is not finding any, especially from PSG fans. Thank God Antonella is there for him. He is being whistled, criticized, and even insulted when he's supposed to be cheered. Uh, winning the most epic final against France may not be the best idea if you're playing at Parc de Prince, but that trophy is the living proof that he is still sitting at the GOAT table, and many clubs know this. The phone's already ringing, but which call will Messi be taking? Here are the seven clubs that will fight to sign Messi. Al Hilal The Middle East club is not only dreaming of having the Argentinian on their squad, According to Fabrizio Romano, Al Halal is planning to break the bank with a $430 million per year deal for Lionel Messi. Mouthwatering, and double what CR7 is getting right now. The Saudi Arabian League is setting the ground for one last dance between the Argentinian legend and Cristiano Ronaldo. The Portuguese is now wearing the Al Nasser jersey on also a multi-millionaire contract. Despite that it would be interesting seeing these two fighting for the throne one more time, what are the real odds of this happening? It is true that Messi is already Saudi Arabia's tourism ambassador and has good relationships in the Middle East, but it seems the Argentinian's desire is to continue in Europe, and looks far from an agreement on this one. Inter Miami FC The American club has high hopes of signing Messi. David Beckham's team has been going around for a few years like a possibility for Leo. The Miami lifestyle is not the only attraction prepared for Messi. Yes, Leo, we know your Latin moves. Inter has been strongly linked to Sergio Busquets, and his presence on the pitch could help envision the possibility of the Argentine playing in Miami. But that would be a rumor on a rumor. Messi joining Miami Inter is still just a distant possibility at this point, although Leo has property and normally vacations there. Like Al Halal, Miami can't provide the sporting guarantee the Argentine GOAT is looking for. Seeing a little more of this would be awesome, but it will have to wait. Newell's Old Boys before his incredible career at Barcelona, Messi played in Newell's Youth Academy in Argentina, a team that had another memorable number 10, Diego Armando Maradona. His childhood club started to make some serious noise when the PSG's news arrived. Having Messi as a free agent might be the one and only chance that the club from Rosario has for his signing. Well, that and Messi having his salary reduced by almost 99%. Newell's vice president, Pablo Allegri, says they are willing to do everything in their hands to take Leo back home. And Alejandro Dominguez, head of Conmebol, commented that Copa Libertadores is the only trophy that Messi hasn't lifted, so far. Where it all started might be a great place to say goodbye, right? But let's keep it real. Besides the salary's almost impossible fees, unfortunate events in his native Rosario could make Argentina impractical for family and safety reasons. Just a few weeks back, a supermarket owned by Antonella Rocuzzo's family was gunned down and a threat was left for Leo. The drug lords of Rosario are a nuisance not many other players have to put up with. This transfer is almost impossible to happen, for now. Manchester City The seven-time Ballon d'Or winner playing in the Premier League could be one heck of a show. De Bruyne, Messi, Holland, literally chills. Leo had some epic performances against English teams, like when he destroyed Arsenal with four goals in the 2010-11 Champions League. It wouldn't be the first time that Manchester City has Messi on its radar. Messi apparently had some talks with his former coach Guardiola to try and allure him to the citizens before being forced out by Barcelona. Despite this, Leo decided to stay put, and when he found out that his club wasn't offering a renewal, it was too late. Jack Grealish arrived at the Etihad Stadium in that transfer window, and Leo took a flight to Paris. Jack for more than $139 million versus Messi as a free agent? Let's say it was just bad timing. Now with PSG's contract done, Pep as head coach and Man City's wallet, if an offer goes on the table, anything can happen. Everyone has his opinion, but nobody can doubt that he's there with the greatest all the time. For me, I said many times, it's the best. Can you imagine Leo and Julian Alvarez linking up for club and country? Chelsea. Back in 2013, the London club made a really tempting offer for the Argentine services. When the Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich was Chelsea's owner, reports indicated that he offered more than $200 million for Leo. That huge bet ended up in nothing. The Argentinian star signed once again with Barcelona and kept his record-striking routine in Spain. Now, it's a different scenario. Far from an agreement with PSG, London could be a possible destination for Leo. And while Chelsea's economic power has become bigger than ever, 
the Blues' performances are far away from giving any return on their huge investments. More than $100 million for Enzo Fernandez and Mikhailo Mudrik made it clear. Messi's salary won't be a problem for the new administration. Putting aside the money factor, there's nothing that really pulls Messi towards London, and so far, there hasn't been any official offer on the table. Inter Milan Another Inter joins the race. The Nerazzurri could be bidding for Leo, once again. When Messi left Barcelona in 2021, the Italian club was desperate for his signing, but back then, they couldn't compete with PSG's offer. Now, they have a second chance, and the hype is up. Vice President Javier Zanetti could use his relationship to lure Leo to enter, which could also mean an historical signing for Serie A. Not only Zanetti could make a move, but Lautaro Martinez is also in the perfect spot to put up a word. The Argentinian number 9 and also World Cup champion has proven to be a good striker to play alongside Messi. With PSG's contract almost done and Barcelona's salary restrictions, Inter could have a real shot this time. The odds could go a little lower because Messi's pay rate may still be a little high for Inter's piggy bank. Barcelona. You know true love when you see it, right? We all thought that Messi and Barcelona would be a never-ending thing, like Tato and Roma. But clearly, we were wrong. In 2021, Leo cried when he said goodbye to his former club. He never really wanted to leave Barcelona. And when we say he, we mean they, because his entire family, which he always puts first, felt like home in Spain. Everything looked perfect for another renewal. Even his friend Kun Aguero signed to play with him that season. But the Catalans' financial disaster put an early end to their story. Messi left Camp Nou after 17 straight years of giving nothing but joy to his club. Now might be the time for a comeback. Xabi Hernandez, his former teammate as a head coach, and Barcelona's unflavored football style are screaming for his return. Both Xabi and the Kool-Aid's vice president, Uste, have acknowledged that they were already contacting Messi to convince him, but it was a long road ahead. It's clear that the Ballon d'Or winner and Barcelona have this mutual sense of unfinished business, but it's not that simple. The contract would need a lot of work, especially due to Barcelona's financial situation. But if that works out, we might say that Camp Nou is the strongest option. Messi is very likely to leave Paris this season, but PSG could make a last-minute move and reach an agreement once again with the Argentinian. There's a lot of uncertainty going on for the 2022 World Cup winner. But there's one big truth. The 35-year-old GOAT still has a lot to do. As some fans were wondering a few months ago, we want to know. Where is Messi signing? Let us know in the comments. It might be really hard to know which club will sign Messi, but one thing is certain, he is having the time of his life with Argentina. Being decisive for the team he won the 2021 Copa America, the 2022 Finalissima, and the 2022 World Cup. Each time the Argentinian national team plays, there is Messi. You want to know why? Check out this Oh My Goal video to find out the real reason why Leo Messi wants to play every minute for Argentina.